Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jarelle Mata. Today we're going to be doing a demo on this look right here. I used the whole entire collection from ColourPop, the summer collection, Sol en Mal. And I am very, very excited to actually have this collection to try on for you guys. And just to give you my thoughts to see whether it's worth it or not. I know we are in the middle of summer and actually things for like the fall are already coming out, which is so, so crazy. But just in case you were interested in this collection I do have some thoughts that I want to share with you so, so first I'm going to show you exactly how I created this look of course and then at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about what I really think about this collection whether it's worth it or not so before we get into the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already of course you can click on the little bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video which is every single week and yeah that said without further ado let's get on to the video Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. A darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me. Voy buscando una alegría como tú la quiero si quiero que te enamore. And I start to see Honey I'm a perfect ten Honey I'm a perfect ten Oh Honey I'm a perfect ten Expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm going to live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Upside down For a 
Okay guys, so yeah, that was it for the look. So I do have the whole entire collection right here, as you can see. Everything was really nice in package, very safe. I did not have any problems with any cracks on the palettes or anything like that. So the first thing that I actually wanna to mention to you is these three right here. I don't know how new they are to ColourPop, but this is the Ultra Blooded Lip. And this is the one that I have on my lips right now. And it is a really nice color. However, you only need like a thin layer because it does feel a little bit drying on the lips and it's just not my style anymore to actually have or have to suffer through a whole like day wearing an uncomfortable liquid lipstick or something that is too drying for my lips i did read on the website that this is supposed to be used only a light layer of it and it's like you just blot it your lips and like give you it gives you a really nice tint it is matte so it is too drying for me for my liking so it's definitely something that i don't think i'm going to be reaching for which is really really sad i have not used this one so i'll keep you posted um, on how these uh, two perform um the colors are stunning so i do like that i do love the colors i think they are perfect for summer um very very nice so these right here are the super shot cheek the name of this one is called double down and that is the first highlighter that i actually apply on my cheeks and i combine and these two right here this one is in the shade timble and i combined these two for my inner corner and i do like it i think these two will actually work very very well for my skin tone and i think this one right here it's a little bit too dark for me so i did show you some So this one actually shows like it's really, really, really dark. However, I think I can make it work. That is the shade right there. And this one is in the shade Parasol. And I think it is stunning. The formula of this one is best for you to use your fingers. So I think these are super pretty. Now the one that I know is going to be a little too ashy for me is Showtime. This one is more like a iridescent, kind of pinky. Uh, golden shift to it so it is beautiful though see you can't judge it by just looking at it because swatching it is like a pink iridescence kind of highlighter i don't know if you can see it but i do have um this one and it reminds me a lot of the i think it's called showtime as well from mac and i think or show glow or show gleam i don't know 
the formula and these ones are super beautiful they're like butter they're really 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 nice so i didn't think that i was going to like the last two that i just showed you that i actually swatched for you because i didn't think that it was it will work for me but i can definitely make these to work for sure so i am very very excited to have them in my collection and as you can see they go on a super nice very smooth there is no patchiness to it whatsoever so yes awesome on the highlighters all right now going to the palettes these palettes look stunning stunning and you can definitely create a whole entire look using just this palette you do not really have to go into this palette um and vice versa however i did want to like try both of them just to see what the quality was for both of them and i think they perform amazing so ColourPop is like killing it with the collection the, the formula that they have come out with i cannot complain so the formula formula for these eyeshadows reminded me a lot of the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette which I do have right here. Um, you, it's like a really nice combination from this palette to this palette. They just like pretty much extended the shade range. There's a lot of colors here that you will find in these uh, two palettes right here. So I feel like it's just an extension for this Dream Street. Um, however, these two palettes are very, very good in formula. I have a no complaint whatsoever. Very little fallout. Amazing pigmentation on this one. Um, the blue gave me some fallout, of course, but I think it's, it's normal for those kind of shades to give you fallout because they are so rich in pigment. So I did not mind that at all. None of the shades gave me a hard time to actually create this look. They were not like fading away or I did not really need to pack them I use them all dry not once that I actually have to wet my brush which is amazing so yeah that is really like my first impressions um from the look and I can really tell from the first time that I use a palette whether it's going to be something that I'm going to be reaching out for or if it's something that I'm just kind of forget about because it gave me a hard time because it had too much fallout so I do know right away whether I'm going to like it or not especially if it's something that gave me a lot of fallout or just I needed to work really really hard um I'm not really going to be reaching for that palette however these two right here I can totally see myself reaching for these two palettes for the rest of the summer and hopefully for fall this one especially and just the reddish colors you can definitely use them girls it's not about seasons it's about how you actually use the colors and how what you can come up with so don't worry about that even though this is a summer collection you can still use it for any time any day for anywhere so yeah those were my final thoughts i hope that this was actually helpful just in case you were eyeing this collection and you needed a little bit more information about it i hope that i was able to help you that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time bye